gives unto me freely. He gives unto the church freely. And we thank you. We pray that you bless him and you keep him. You forever bless his work, Lord God. Because it's a mighty, mighty work. It's strong. This house is strong. It's built on a rock. And we thank you, Lord God. We thank you for all things. We pray that you keep our heart. That you keep the spirit looking on you. Thank you for all things. Keep us, Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Today we have with us this whole apostolic blessing of Pastor Anthony J. Pastor and him. Amen. have the spirit of God, what are you going to say? Hallelujah. Not something that any other of his creation can say. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Amen. If God is going to be praised, it's going to be praised from the footstool. Amen. Amen. And if you don't do it, he said, I'll find a rock down here. Hallelujah. <laughs> Glory to God. So somebody's going to do it. Amen. Amen. As a rock don't have a soul to be saved. Amen. We do. Amen. And in having and having this opportunity, every soul should take it. Amen. Because you don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. Amen. Your mind don't know what God is going to do. Amen. That's why you say, I'll do this or that. 
on tomorrow if the Lord wills. Because if he don't will for you to do nothing, you ain't going to do nothing. Amen. I got the greatest compliment from a woman in in Maryland. The greatest compliment. Mm -mm. Great. She thought she was talking bad about me, but she talked good. <laughs> she said, he just talks. Virginia, I'm sorry. She's in Virginia. I got it from Virginia. She said, he just talk. He don't preach. Mm -mm. That's the greatest compliment you can give a preacher. Amen. He just talks. Mm -hmm. Whatever God said. It's a conversation I'm having That's with the host of God. Amen. <laughs> That's the greatest compliment you can give me. Thank God. Unlike her preacher that talks down to folk mm -hmm. and use highfalutin words, I just sit and talk. Mm -hmm. What she think they were doing when this book was being written? They were just talking. Yeah. They were giving opportunity for men to ask a question yes. of God. Amen. That's right. Jesus was just talking to Nicodemus said, yes. walk along. Answer the question, how can a man be born again when he's old? Amen. Just talk it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. It wasn't, Amen. you know, Amen. Oh, you got the eunuch just driving around and yeah. reading the Bible and didn't know what he was reading. The man came and said, what, understand now? Right. They were just That's right. talking. Just talking. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Paul said, let me talk for myself. That's right. We're just talking. Amen. The greatest compliment you can give a preacher. Mm -hmm. That he can sit with you and just oh. talk. Thank you. Thank you can walk by and just touch him or he touch you. Yeah. 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 There is virtue among the church. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 COVID didn't kill any of us. Amen. 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 And we're able to gather a little freer now, because God kept the church. Amen. Amen. But we did not charge God foolish. Amen. But God got us ready for this because he gave us a divine healing service. Yes, 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 yes. God prepared us Amen. from the start. That's right. yes, yes, yes. Just talking. Yes. He bought a robe that had virtue from the man of God that fell to Nehemiah. Uh, yeah. Nehemiah gave it to me, told me I was going to need it. God know we needed it that day. Here's a little for you. Here's a little bit for you. And all of us, it was sufficient. What God has done for us, Thank you, Lord. He's pulled our soul out of a pit. Yeah. If you want to know how we made it. God sent down a rope. You don't have to take the rope. But he's going to send it. And he is going to try his best. To get you to take a hold. Amen. Yes, that is true. It's up to you. Yes, Lord. He made a way for To it. take a hold yes, to did. it. Yes, he did. He made a way. Glory. Hallelujah. And if you take a hold, ah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. He'll pull you right out of whatever your distress. Hallelujah. Whatever your trouble. But you have to take hold. That's right. Amen. If God sent an angel to deliver you, yes, take hold. Yes, Grab his hand and don't look back. Because they're just going to talk to you. Yes. Say it's time now. Yes, yes. Thank you. They ain't going to pull out a Bible. No, no. Time to get moving. It's time. And start flipping, trying to find a scripture. Because what they are saying in the moment is scripture. That's right. That's right. Take hold now That's right. and don't That's right. look back. That's right. 
That's the truth. Amen. All of us was in a pit. Yeah. Amen. Amen. How did we get out? Yeah. It was the Lord that delivered. Yeah. That's right. It was the Lord yeah. that Amen. delivered. Yes, it was. Yes, he did. The Lord had me to hold what he showed me until the young man gave his vision. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Lord is preparing me. Amen. And I'm prepared. That's right. Amen. I am dressed in the robe. Yes. Because it says, he's always said this is the battle of the robes. Y'all yes. have heard it before. Yes. yes. It's the battle of the robes. Yes. It is a carnal one versus a spiritual one. Amen. And the carnal one cannot prevail over the spiritual one. No matter what happens. Amen. People thought when they got Jesus on the cross, they won. Them clowns set a watch. Uh -huh. <laughs> that watch that they set did not prevent Amen. what the Lord said was going to be. Amen. So the carnal man was waiting to see if we're going to steal it. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're going to come in there moving yeah. and say he had risen and we took him and dug, it, dug another grave and put him somewhere else and just start lying. Right. Uh, the Lord wasn't going to have that. Right. Amen. So you put an angel on a watch, too. Oh, yeah. And when the saints came, the angels started talking to the saints. Yeah. He said, why are y'all looking? What you looking for the living among dead folk? Yeah. But the Holy Ghost say, as Peter and Paul were able to answer for themselves, so shall ye. Amen. When I delivered you before, yeah. I use you. Yes. I'll do it again. Yeah. Yeah. Because nothing is going to take away the victory in God. Amen. He said, one day in, July. did he do it? Yeah. Yeah. Who can take God's promise away? Cannot. When the arbitrator signed, the decree. He took the last day of July yeah. and signed it and said, I'm done. Amen. And God has kept it all of these days. I'm here only to tell you this. When you were in a pit, the only way you got out is that you took hold yes. To the rope. That's right. The rope is going down for a lot of folk. They didn't grab it. They want the benefits of coming out of the pit. But they don't want to do nothing to come out. You got to grab hold. And if you fall, the Lord is going to wait. Send the rope back down again. Try again. Hallelujah to God. Amen. The Lord's going to try over and over until you get victory because you are trying to get a hold. Amen. When Bishop Shelton said, if you got to hold on with just the skin of your hand, he said, hold on. Amen. Because the Lord's going to deliver you. If you want to be delivered, a lot of people's got mouth that they want to be delivered. But here's an angel walking with you. Yes. You've got to be delivered. Yes. An angel don't come for naught. He taking somebody. Amen. When you consider the Holy Ghost is telling you there's going to be a reunion. My soul went throughout the scriptures. When Elder Askew said, hey, come on, we're going to have this great reunion. Yeah. Hallelujah. Joseph was with his brothers. Yes. That's right. They threw him in a pit. Yes. He ended up in Egypt. Yes. But oh, there's going to be a great reunion. Yeah. 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 Lord. They had to go back. 
When you get to this reunion, yes. you might not know me. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to know you. Yes. There's going to be a reunion. Yes. There's going to be a meeting. Yes. And I'm going to meet you there. Yes. That's right. It's a great reunion of saints Glory. spirits that came out of God yes. that now have an everlasting body that they didn't have before but they are coming back in God and when they get back in God say oh my Lord don't you remember the trials down there don't you remember the trials and tests that we had but there's a great reunion because there's going to be a meeting yeah. is going to be in the air. Yes, sir. I'll meet. I'm going to meet you there. Because this is a promise. There was a reunion that the thing that descended is the same thing that ascended Amen. and went right back in God that came out of God. Yeah. Your trip is the same. You came from God and you're going back in God. There's going to be a great reunion of saints. When the spirit that came down and gave us life called for that spirit to come back, Amen. are you going to say, yay, Lord? Yay, Lord. Yay, Lord. Yay, Lord. Yay, Lord. A great reunion. Yes, are you going to see Jesus? Because if God wants a suffering people, he can't look in heaven for it. He can't look under the ground for it. They're all dead. He got to come here for you. He's got to find something at his footstool that's going to worship him. If he wants to hear hallelujah to the lamb, he's got to come to you for that. If he wants someone to say, Lord, I'm so glad you redeemed my soul, he can't look at heaven for that. He got to come to you for that. If he wants someone to say, I had heart. 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 Heart try. He can't go to nobody in heaven for that. He got to come down here to you. Will you tell him? When my car was wrecked. And it was all tore up. You preserved my soul. He got to come down here for that. Can I throw in the sickle and grab a testimony of somebody to say, I'm so thankful that in due time, the Lord delivered my soul. There is going to be a reunion. People think there's been a gap between Bishop Shelton and what he said. This is nothing. This is nothing but a blink for God. But there's going to be a reunion. There's going to be a reunion of every word that was spoken by the man of God. Amen. Everything that came from the mouth of God. 
there's going to be a reunion for souls that believed it. Folks that trusted it. They're in this building. I'm reminded of a soul that told God. You owe me one. And the Lord said, I got you. I got you. Just consider when a soul said, when my soul was filled with sin and I tarried around God's altar, I had a reunion with the Spirit that when Peter said, you shall receive the Holy Ghost. My soul had a reunion with those words. So if God wants a soul that had hard trials, he can grab you. He can grab a soul that I haven't uttered. A sound with my voice. I just waited on you. We won't even start with the testimony that's among us. What angel can tell God I was about to give up and won't worship God no more because I felt it was useless but come down here to this footstool you're going to find a soul that says I thank you what angel can tell God I was sick unto death Cancer in the blood. And there was no way I was going to make it. What angel can tell God? I was alone, but the Lord sent somebody to be with me when I lost my consciousness. But somebody was there with me because two had to be to pull God in the midst. What angel can tell God? We start calling on a name that had all power. I had a reunion. But the Lord was preserving my soul. What angel has had their bones pricked and pricked and pricked looking for something that they couldn't find because God had touched me. What angel has this testimony? If you want this testimony, you got to come here to us and we'll give it to you. If you want to find somebody that trusted in the Lord that could not find no other help, you got to come here. You got to come here. If you want a soul, a host, you in the wrong room. Because <laughs> this room is filled with God Almighty. And what you're talking about is not going to happen in this room. If you want this testimony, you got to come down here to us. Because no angel there has this testimony there's a great reunion to the words that I can heal all for of disease if 
if you're looking for tears that can come and flow all night long you can't find it there you got to come down to your footstool and find weeping enduring during the night if you're looking for a reunion of souls you got to come here to us and when you come we're going to see you we're going to see the invisible God that was keeping us if you're looking for a soul that you can save. You can't find one up there. And you can't find one in the earth unless there's a soul resting for you. But I'm talking about the living that is praising God right now. You got to look in the church. You got to look to where you have cast off all sin. You got to look here to us. You got to look into the church and you got to see us face to face. And when I'm utterly fallen and concrete is about to take a hold of me and I ain't got no control because I'm off balance and I'm going to the ground. But your hand must be a pillar. When I get down there, I must find a rock, but it's got to be your hand as a pillar. Because if you want me to come to myself and say, Lord, I thank you. Your keeping power had to meet me at the concrete. Otherwise, I'm gone. But I'm here to tell you. I thank you. I'm here to tell you I praise you. I'm here to tell you I worship you. Why? You kept me. There's no angel going to tell you, Lord, you kept us. But you got to come to your footstool if you want to be worshipped. If you want to be praised. If you want to glorify something that we had on before the world was, you got to come here to us. And when you come, it'll be a great reunion for us. These are the souls that repented. Souls that went down in water in the precious name of God. These are souls that spoke in another tongue as the Spirit of God gave utterance. They had a reunion with life. And God has come to his footstool. Now, can we worship him? Can we praise him? Because if we don't do it, heaven won't have 
any hand sounds. Heaven won't have any heart that are full and glad that God brought them out of darkness into this marvelous light of the world. Where in times past you walked according to the course of this world. We walked according to the world. According to the prince of the power. Of we the walked enemy. in the power of the enemy. But the Lord of heaven made a change. Amen. The spirit that now walketh. The, the spirit of disobedience. that now walk in the children of disobedience. Among also, we all had our conversations. We had our conversations past. in time past. In lust of our flesh. We are not different from anybody else. But there has been a great change. But God, God, who is rich in mercy, all of his mercy, all of his mercy, he was so wealthy with it. He bestowed it upon us. For the great love wherewith he loved us. Because he loved us. Even when we were dead in sin. I need you to hear this. We were all dead. And sin had a hold of us. But oh, what a change. The great reunion. The spirit that sent me down here said it would find me. It would let me hear him. It would let me make my way back home. There was a great reunion. Even when we were dead in sin. Even when we were dead in sin. God quickened us together. God now has quickened us together with Christ. The great reunion. So let sickness come. It's quickening us together. I'm with God now. He has raised us up together. He has raised us up together. When I was falling, the Lord was already lifting me up. And made us sit together. In heavenly place. Heaven in Christ Jesus. Has us now sitting. Yes, Lord. In God. Yes. With God. Yes. I'm going to meet you. At the meeting place. Yes. That in the ages to come. When the time comes. He might show the exceeding riches. He's going to show. All the church. In his loving kind. How wealthy. Yes. How you were loved. Yes. Where you couldn't see him, but you could feel him. Yes. And you knew he was close. Yes. He might show us. He's gonna show you the exceeding riches of his grace. He's gonna show you how grace and mercy yes. was bestowed yes. upon your soul. Yes. For by grace ye are saved. Through faith. What do you believe? And not of yourself. It is the gift of God. Amen. The gift the church has. Yes, Lord. That you grabbed a hold to the rope. Yes. When the rope came down. You didn't tell God, I don't feel like climbing. You didn't tell God, I don't feel like praying. You didn't tell God, I don't feel like it. But if you did, for well, here's our peace. His grace said, can you just try? <laughs> And you say, but Lord, I'm so weak now. I, I, I don't even have the strength. For 
for he is our peace. He said, can you try? try? And all you did was just put out your hand. And a rope somehow got wrapped around your soul. You don't even know how. But all you did was just surrender to can you just try? The next thing you knew, you were headed out of the pit. For he is your peace. For he is our peace who hath made both one. The Lord has now made both one. And broken down the middle wall. Tore down the middle wall of partition that was between us. Having abolished, having abolished in his flesh the enmity. The problem that he and I had is now gone. Even the law of commandments contained in ordinance. For to make in himself of twain. He has now made me one. One new man. So making peace. I have peace now with God. And that he might reconcile. Both. Now God can now fix the problem. Yes. Yes. To God in one body by the cross, having slain enmity, enmity thereby. He fixed our problem. So there could be a great reunion. So your troubles are not going to prevent you from making it to the reunion. The greatest compliment you can give God is just he talks to his people. He said, I speak to you by a stammering lip and with other tongues. But I thank him for the edification today. That my coming to the worship house was not in vain. But some of us still have our feet on the pit. But our hands are on the road. Some of us are midway out of the pit. And some of you all have made it to the mouth. Where you can stand on your own now. As I heard the testimonies being recalled. God cannot get a testimony unless it's from him. And I pray that you are one that can testify that God has been good. Because I am one that can testify. B flat, I think it was. Dar uh, Daisy used to sing it. It's Daisy's song. I am one that can testify God. Are you one? 